Alrighty, so welcome everyone to the first person perspective portion of this video. Um, I decided to film this first person perspective just so that you all can get um, a rather better idea of you know what happens um, when you take sports card photos via this method and also to be completely honest um, the camera just does a much better job at compensating for the light um, within my phone that way you all can see how bright this thing truly gets so anyway for those of you who don't know this is what's called a light box controlled lighting 100% you want to have this you don't want to have lighting like this you know outside lighting you just definitely want to have the lighting controlled that way your sports card photos look amazing because let's be honest how many times do we see a card that maybe we would purchase but at the end of the day we pass on it just simply due to the fact that hey you know what i don't know how you know i don't know what kind of condition this card is in i don't know if it's off-centered i don't know if there's nicks on it i don't know if there's dents just because the photo is not great. So at the end of the day, you don't wanna leave any kind of questions. You wanna leave absolutely virtually no doubt into the buyer's mind as to what kind of conditions your cards are in. Um, and you can do that thanks to something like this. Um, so I'm just gonna move that out of the way. This is the brand of it. It's awesome. It was about $10, maybe $12, somewhere around there. The point is it's super duper cheap. Um, and again, this is my favorite method. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, why don't you just scan cards? Absolutely. Um, if you want to go ahead and scan cards, you can do that. The scanning method can take time. Um, it's also quite expensive. So this is just a cheap, affordable way that I personally really like to do. Um, and I just love the fact that you can also tell that it was a human being who took the photo and it wasn't just scanned. Because um, sometimes scanners don't pick up everything. So anyway, this is basically what you're going to get. You can see here, um, you have LED in the back, LED in the front, just super duper awesome. Um, so you're gonna have cables kind of sticking out, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I tend to use just a block. There's my plug. So yeah, guys, that's, that's basically it. So now before I actually plug this thing in so that you guys can see how bright it is, I do want to mention get yourselves card stands. They're super expensive. You can get them at your local store. You can get them online. They're about 75 cents, maybe a dollar max. Um, now, <laughs> Mitch is probably gonna hate me for this, but you want to be able to get the good card stands. I'm talking about these ones, the ones that, let's see if I can do it with one hand, the ones that actually adjust um, like this. So you can basically push this further back if needed. You can push it further ahead if needed. The angle is really important. You do not want to get a card stand such as the one that Mitch had where he was actually talking about how great it was and then his card fell over. Mini sticky notes. Um, partially because you can't change the angle on that. And you can see here with LED lighting such as this, the angle is super duper important, especially on Chrome cards. Um, because if, if the light hits, it, uh, hits the card in a bad spot, Obviously you don't want that because that's just another portion of the card that we can't tell what kind of condition the card's in. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna turn this on now. Bam, you plug it in and it gets so much brighter. So this is controlled lighting. The background is white. That also helps because whenever we go to post a card onto eBay, um, it's also going to uh, by third party because the background is white through search engine optimization. More times than not, you'll actually find your listing on Google just because there's a white background. Now, of course, um, such as our case, if you're into theme things such as Red Cape Sports, basically through the hooks here, it actually comes with um, extra drapes, I guess we'll call them. Um, these are actually machine washable as well, so you just hook on a red one or you can hook on a black one. Um, basically, it came with nine colors. So again, you get all this super duper cheap. Now, one thing that you don't want to do, and again, I will put examples of great sports card photos and bad sports card photos um, but one thing that you definitely don't want to do is just this you don't want to put your card on a card stand and then just take the photo um, now again the lighting's not going to be perfect um, it will show up slightly different when i go to actually take the photo but uh, hopefully you guys all understand and hopefully you're all cringing right now because if i go to take a photo of this 
you, I mean, this case, this, this one touch, it has so many nicks, so many scratches on it. Um, now I can guarantee you guys that's, that's not on the actual card, but that is on, you know, the actual case of it. So you definitely want to be mindful. You don't want to take sports card photos like that. You don't want to take them in the top loader. We want to take them in the raw state. I'm going to take the card out. We'll put it right there, put it in the middle. Now, as you can see, bam, that's going to be a much greater sports card photo. And through the power of cropping, we won't see that little hole and we won't see that little hole. But for example, if we were to take a sports card photo like that, that would be good. But you also want to be mindful, as I mentioned before, because if I were to put that in the back, bam, see, we get glare. We get glare at the top and hopefully you all can see that. Um, we definitely don't want that glare because again, that's an imperfection possibility at least. And we won't know how that will actually look um, in real life. So you just want to leave no questions, no doubt. Um, if you put it further back, see, it looks even worse. So we don't want that. Typically speaking, what you're going to want to do is just bring the card up to the front with the controlled lighting and take the photo. Now, that's actually a, a really good photo, I would suggest. Um, but sometimes, we'll see here, if you just have a regular stand and the regular stand isn't quite angled right. So if it's not angled right and the card is like this, no matter how you go about doing it, even though I have this in the front, see, you're gonna have the glare at the top. If you push it back, the glare gets worse. If you put it too much in the front, now the angle is just weird, right? It doesn't really look like a sports card. Kind of looks like a five by seven, I guess. So the angle is going to be really important on this as well, guys. So again, just as important the entire light boxes. I would also argue that these guys are super duper important. So again, just super simple. I can actually do it with one hand here to adjust the angle. The angle doesn't need to be perfect. Pop the sports card on. And again, if you can do this with Chrome cards, you can do it with almost any other card as well. So there you guys go. That's the sports card. And you also want to be sure to take the front and take the back. Um, take advantage of all the free photos that you guys can take, you know? Um, maybe if there's a, a dent or a nick in a corner, maybe you'll want to take a photo just zooming in on it. Maybe you'll want to, you know, just take it like that show that the entire condition is great but anyways guys it's so important to take good sports card photos so all that to say if your cards are listed and if they haven't been bought for a long time it's likely probably one of two things either the photos aren't great number one or number two the price is too high so now i'm not saying that's the case every single time but anyways if you get yourself one of these light boxes and if you use these techniques that I showed, I promise you guys, your sports card taking photos are going to be that much better. So anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you do, please do not forget to smash the like button. It definitely helps us out with YouTube's algorithm. Um, and also I hope that you guys kind of enjoyed this first person's perspective. Um, I, I thought that it was really important just so that you guys can actually see everything that's going on. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this. I hope that you all enjoy um, taking sports card photos just as much as I do, um, because beauty is definitely in the eye of the beholder. So until next time, take care.